Today! Hope day! <laughs> we are trying out, since it's December and Christmas coming up and all, uh, this is the Rogue Santa's Private Reserve Ale. It's a Belgian style dark ale with tangerine and boysenberries. This comes in at 7.9 alcohol by volume. And they are out of, where are they out of? Hugh, Hewport, Oregon. Hewport, Oregon. Um, so let me get you, see if, I don't even know if you can get this. Can you see it from here? Just, can you see it? I don't think they can see it. See, there's a Santa. <laughs> and you scroll the bottle around. And there's the reindeer. Okay, baby. Okay, I'm just, now I'm spinning. <laughs> All right, anyways, never had this one before. It wasn't too bad, I guess. It, it, it came in at, as far as we got this at specs, um, it was 10 bucks. So, a little, a little pricey, but... But it's got Santa on it. It's got Santa on it. I mean, come on. We're uh, doing the Santa theme, and this is good till like the middle of next year, so they must have just got it in. I'm thinking it's a seasonal kind of beer. Yeah, it's, well, during the summer you're gonna buy a Santa beer, right? But you never know. It's a crazy world out there. All right, <gasps> so on the back, this is gonna come in at 22 IBUs, and <laughs> food pairing is goat cheese, roasted duck, and grandma's fruit cake. And uh, it says on the thing, it's got lots of malt, medium fruit, a little sweet, not tart, and not funk. I don't know what the funk is. I don't Never know. had funk. We don't want to drink any funk. You okay with it, baby? No. I shouldn't have ate those cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sushi. Oreos and hot chips are a bad idea. <laughs> um, yes, this is a really dark, dark amber color. Um, kind of a tan head on it. A little lacing. Not bad. Yeah, you can you can pick up the malts. They're pretty strong. And you can pick up the boysenberry. It, it does, it's almost smells like a fruit salad, the, the way it smells. And it's got a little bit of hint of coffee. I think that's because it was darker. It's darker brewed. But you can pick up the sweet, the malt, and the fruit. Um, I don't smell any tangerine though. <laughs> Let me try it out. I can taste the tangerine. <laughs> it's got that little kick at the end. Um, definitely malty. You can pick it. You can't smell it, but you can pick up the tangerine because it's got that pucker butt face going on in it. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to try some? No. I don't think you can hold on anymore. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a war shirt from my wife that says don't feed me on it. <laughs> I'm just going to be making a long string of bad decisions today. <laughs> yeah, this probably wouldn't, wouldn't be good on top of all that. It's pretty thick. It said it's not tart, but I get tart. I don't know why. Um, and I think the IBU should be bigger than 22 because it's got that little bit bitter. Um, but you can taste the sweet, you can taste the fruit, you can taste the malt. The malt is really potent in this. 
I'm almost getting a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. Um, is there any funk? I don't get any funk. I don't know what funk is, but okay. now I gotta look for it. It says on the bottle. Well, it, it said it f- wasn't tart, and you said you could taste a little bit of tart. Well, so. the tart, it had this little bitty tiny arrow in the tart. So, big malt, medium fruit, little sweet, and I guess it's got a hint of tart. And I, I can pick it up. I don't pick up the boysenberry in the taste, but I, I pick it up in the smell. I don't even know what a boysenberry tastes like, so I wouldn't be able to pick it up. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. Okay, anyways, not a bad beer. Uh, it's a little bit too dark roasty for me. Uh, Flacco would get a kick out of this. I bet he'd like it. He likes the dark beers. Um, but for me, eh, uh, $9 is a little bit pricey, but it, it's a pretty good size bottle, so, um, maybe if you're kicking back and eating goat cheese, uh, and roasted duck and grandma's fruit cake, you need this. Well, that's our Sunday dinner, so. <laughs> How'd they know? <laughs> How'd they know? They know. Um. But that's all we got for today. Um, not bad. Me, personally, it's not one of my favorites, but it is one that somebody would love. I bet it would taste good with the Oreo. Do you want an Oreo? No, you, you eat your Oreos. <laughs> I, I don't like want to be like you. <laughs> I think there's only like two left out of that entire package. Wow. I know. <laughs> Anyways, it's taco night. We're going to go after this and eat tacos. So she's screwed. I'm going to die. <laughs> All right. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that'll conclude our Wednesday. We'll be back Friday for some holiday drink. We, had, we don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I want to do something that tastes like candy because obviously... <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> Just... Bad decisions all Bad the time. Decisions. <laughs> There's nothing nutritious going in this body. <laughs> but yet we'll walk a mile. What's that about? You just want to see my tolerance for pain. No, I was I was only gonna eat like six Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. So <laughs> we will see you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching everybody. Alright, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>